Honey. Yes, sweetheart. My little sister, Lily, will be coming over in a few days. Oh, really? <laughs> Lily. Oh, is she done with the uh, youth service already? Oh, yeah. Since last month. Wow. She's coming over to Abuja for her last interview. Yep, with one of the biggest banks. Wow. <laughs> well, that's great news. <laughs> Quite impressive. Good speed, too. Mm. Did you say the last interview? Oh, that means she must have gone through the most difficult phases. Hmm. This life no balance, so. In a country where some people had passed out are yet to get themselves a job, how much more a good paying one? Hmm. I run your life. I'm happy for your sister, though. <laughs> Lily is super intelligent. <laughs> Sweetheart, of course I know. I mean, she's a combination of both beauty and brains. And also a go-getter. You know, sometimes she reminds me of my brother, Brian. Oh, the one in the States? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? When is he coming down? I need to start up his tech company because I always hear you guys talking about him coming down to start up a tech company ever since we got married. <laughs> well, you seem not to know my brother, Brian. You know, he loves well-organized system. I'm not sure he'll be able to cope with the hustle and bosses of this uh, country. I'm sure you know what I mean. So he's been bluffing all this well. Well, if you're right about one thing, he really reminds me of my little sister, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Come on, hurry up and come to bed. And look at what we have here. <laughs> and here comes my darling angel. How about the kids? Sleeping. Really? Yes. <laughs> mm. It's good. Should we make a toast? Most definitely. To us. <laughs> Guys, stop it before you hurt your brother. Dave, come for juice. How many times will I tell you guys to, to behave yourself? Destiny, take care of your brother. Welcoming you now. Oh God, no! Just look at my body. Ah, ah! Please, you should get used to them. Ah. You are not serious, so go and take care of your brother. I'll be right back. <laughs> you should be expecting more. No, my dear brother, <laughs> how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Oh, my wife and kids are doing pretty well. <laughs> What's happening? Really? 
Well, that's because you've been saying this only God knows for how long now. Okay. Next week. Oh, fine. Uh, whatever it is you'll be needing, please uh, don't hesitate to uh, to tell me. Yes. Uh, my family will be preparing for a return. N no, no, no. No, we're not, do we're not doing hotel. No. Yes, you'll be staying here with me till you get your own apartment. Okay. All right, blood. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> uh, your brother? Yes. <laughs> um, he'll be returning finally. Really? Yes. He sold, um, he proposed an idea to a multinational company. They bought into it and um, it will be coming down to create their app and manage it for them. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> yes, it's a very big one. It is. And um, I think this is the push he needs because he's been wanting to come down home. But I think finally he's gotten the push he needs. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> How about the kids? Oh, my sister is helping me tuck them into bed. They're sleeping by now. Oh, that's good. Sorry. So that means you'll be getting a well-deserved rest. Right. Go and sleep. Canela, go and sleep. My bedtime stories. Hmm? She finds it difficult to sleep without her bedtime stories. But I'm a big girl, so I'm good. Well, tonight you have to sleep. Okay? You have to try and sleep. No, you have to read me my bedtime stories. Can you hear your brother crying? I need to attend to him, so sleep. Just... Bedtime stories. I want my bedtime stories. Oh, oh my bedtime stories. Just sleep. I need my bedtime stories. I needed this help. Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, the baby's full. Change him now. You have the diaper. I tried, but I couldn't. This is my sister, eh? So you're so irritated by things like this. How are you going to cope when you have kids of your own? And here I was thinking I was going to have some rest for the night because you agreed to help. Uh, it's not not Daniela's voice. What happened? I don't know. I thought she was sleeping. My angel, what is I that? I can't sleep. I, I, I want you to read me my bedtime stories. Oh, no one has read it to you. <laughs> okay, I'll read it to you, okay? Up you go, let me go put you to bed. <laughs> Sorry. So what would you like to, to listen to? Hmm, up and down? My dear sister. When at all would you learn? So you couldn't just tuck them in for one night? Sister, please let me be. Your kids are too demanding and I've never changed the diaper before. Really, you've been here for only one night and you've started complaining about Daniela and Destiny. And here was I thinking I was about to rest for the night. Oh, God. Give me the diaper. And follow me. Come and watch out. Destiny, have you guys finished your homework? Huh? Okay, pick up, pick up everything, pick up, pick up everything. Tidy up, tidy up, tidy up.
Hey. Hey, 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 don't, don't, don't touch me, don't touch me. Okay? You ruined my dress the other day. Lily. Just imagine ah. how the whole place is messy. You're only doing this because you're not married yet. <laughs> I beg. So tell me about it. How did it go? Well, I got it. Ah, <laughs> congratulations. Thank Little you. Sense. Thank you. Um, so our posting letter will be coming out tomorrow. And I will know the branch will be posted here in Abuja. They also asked us to fill our address so they post us somewhere close to home. Good, good. So did you use here? Of course. Where else? Okay, good. Yeah, even though I'll be getting my own apartment later, it has to be somewhere around the neighborhood because it's quiet. You're not getting any apartment. You will not leave this house until you get married. Hmm? Fred and I are not having kids now, so we have enough room. You hear? <laughs> but what's with you and this marriage thing? Honestly, I'm not ready. I hope this thing you've been saying is a joke. Anyway, you're not leaving this house until you get married and that's final. Cinderella, take yourself upstairs immediately. Big house, man. <laughs> wow. Guy, I hope so. Now you see why I told you that. Put enough in the hotel. So where's the time and money? Whoa. There's enough space. So let's go upstairs, then to do. We drop this down there. So how about our wife? You are an expensive jokes. Expensive jokes. <laughs> you mean my wife, bro. Our wife. <laughs> Come on. Hold on, hold on. Time to do. Yeah. I mean, you're not getting any younger. You need to get yourself a wife. <laughs> Please, where's my room? <laughs> Wait, that's a real silence in here, right? Bro, I don't have time oh, for women oh, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 but really, you need to think about it. I mean, I'm talking about your excesses. We'll find a woman that is suitable for you. Bro, I wish I could find a woman. We will definitely be suitable. So, I've moved your bags here. Your children's room? Yes. It's about time you bond with your kids. You're my younger sister. These children are yours too. You need to be children friendly. I'm expecting wedding bills soon. I can't stay here. Practice makes. I said I can't stay here. Perfect. Get used to your children. Your room will be locked until you bond with these kids. How can you? You must be Brian. I'm really Clara's sister. The one that got a new job, right? Yes. Oh, so how is it going? Well, I have a very tight schedule, but I love my job. Well, as long as one enjoys the job he or she is doing, I guess it's worth it, right? Of course. Okay. Nice to meet you, Lily. Same here. Cool. 
What are you doing? Can I see? No, I want to oh. see first. What is this? Come on, stop this. Stop. Can't you see I'm walking? Please go meet your aunt. No, you know you can't. Go upstairs. Mine is finished, let me have some. No, go and get yours from the kitchen and I'm going to finish this. Please let me have some, I'll get you another one. No. this house because of those kids. I mean, not because of those little children. Little? <laughs> Bro, your children. Little. Oh, come on. <laughs> now, listen. Um, I know you've not been kids friendly. But let me ask you. <sighs> if those kids were yours, wouldn't you live with them? Bro, please. Allow me get my space. Please, they will drive me crazy. Look, I'm going... I can't even think. Brian, Brian, Brian. Listen, calm down, okay? Um, we've been apart for 10 years. 10 solid years. And now that you're back, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to use this opportunity to bond. Uh, Listen, I know you've been living all by yourself, this isolation and all of that, but uh, come on. Hmm? I've been living alone and I've been... And you're not fine. Oh, come on. Yes, I know. Uh, see, this has always been my fear, you know, and um, <laughs> can you think of it? 
You're not growing any younger. Yes, your mates are married with kids. Now, come on. Now, this is not about me. This is about those adults, those grown women in little bodies. They're driving me crazy. I can't think. Come on, bro. Help me out. Oh. I can't do anything. Brian, Brian, Brian. I mean, you and this, your expensive jokes. Okay, now calm down, all right? Let's take it easy. Look at you. Stop. <laughs> it's okay. Come on. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'll talk to those adults in. Oh, come on, stop. Don't make me laugh. Young buddies. Uh, grown women. I'm serious. <laughs> come on, I'm serious. Uh, all right, yeah. I, I, I'll talk to them, okay? Hmm? We'll, get, we'll get things fixed. Same with mm. me, bro. Look at you, Same you're walked out. Calm down. Mm? <laughs> and by the way, how has work been? been fine. It's been good, but I've not gotten anything done because of them. They keep messing with it's my. It's fine, it's fine. They calm down. Come on. <laughs> All right, I have this. So calm yourself down. Oh, I'm taking <laughs> this just because I need to calm. Please do, come on. Daniela, I walked through the week, eh? and today is Saturday. Why don't you want to allow me to sleep? Oh, sorry, auntie. It's just that Destiny, Destiny doesn't want to play with me, so I was bored. Please, eh? I want to sleep. Just leave me alone, okay? Oh, boring. Really? Huh. I wanted to talk to you. My husband and I have a wedding to attend next weekend and the couple are really dear to us. Please, I can't be with you. No. I actually want you to take care of the kids. What? For how long? How many hours are you going to be away? Lily, why are you so scared? Come on, these are just children, okay? And you can control them as an adult. If they are normal kids, yes. But these girls, oh. <clears throat> <laughs> it's funny how you complain because you were just like them when you were a kid. They just took after you. How we dislike our reflection sometimes. <sighs> God. Okay, how, how, am I, how am I going to do this now? I hope you're going with Dave. Dave? He's the main reason I'm asking you this now. Sister, how can you do that? How am I going to change him when he pulls? The same way I changed you when, when you were a baby. baby. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just get a maid. Maid? Those people have showed me Pepe. Hmm? Mm -mm -mm -mm. When you have kids one day, try and avoid them, please. You'll be fine. I do. You certainly don't know what to do. Change it. 
Um, can you please help me change it? Don't you know how to do it? Like seriously, just change the diapers. Um, yeah. Change it. Okay. Auntie, why are you crying? Auntie, please stop crying. You'll be fine, okay? At least the bad order has stopped. Yes, good job, sis. Auntie, you can sit down. Enjoy your stuff. We got this. Yeah, we got this. Go get the type from Auntie. And wipes too. Why do I have to get the wipes? You're older. Auntie, can I please help us and get the wipes? Why should you when I live in Abuja? That doesn't make any sense. Wait. Is it because of the kids? You're running away from your nieces and nephew? I have a professional exam I need to prepare for. Another one? I thought you wrote one and passed while waiting for a jam. I remember you were on the newspaper as the youngest student to write. Since there are other qualifications I need to acquire, and I'm just getting started. How do I achieve that in this house with... With? With who? With the kids? Lily, pause for a second and think about it. If you were married and these kids were yours, would you not find a way to write your exams? I will not have you look for another apartment whilst I'm in this Abuja, period. I don't like this auntie and uncle. Me too, they're so mean. When are they leaving? I don't know, but we should tomorrow. Mm. 
is so frustrating. I know, I just wish they were able to go right now. I'm so tired. Me too, please, They're please. It's super annoying. Ugh. be good okay do not trouble your auntie so she doesn't move out before we get back mm? <laughs> really bye take care of them and destiny control your siblings mm? and always take care of them okay yes mommy love you oh. Oh. <laughs> all right bye come here Lily, take care of them mm. okay. come here I hope you heard your parents. Huh? Be good girls and don't stress me. You heard that, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, now move there. And what's this mess you are making on this table? Huh? I said six. And I don't want to hear any shouts or see someone running up and down. Did you hear me? Yes. Destiny, did you hear me? Yes. Mm. Mom said that we shouldn't give Auntie any trouble unless she will love you. What do you think? <laughs> so shall we begin? Yes, we shall. Detective Toby Idemudia from Police Rapid Response Team, Kubwa. Um, okay, I hope all is well. Am I in the house of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Chude? Uh, yes, Mr. Chude is my brother. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Chude were involved in a ghastly motor accident this morning around 10.15 a.m. by Kubwa Expressway. What? Accident? Um, please, are they okay? Are you sure? Are you sure they are the ones? Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, please. Can we see the bodies to be sure? Though? Let's go. Let's, let's just please calm down. You calm down and come with me to the police. Okay, okay, please. Okay, let's please. Go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's okay, go. let's just let's go. go.
Sis, I'm here. I'm here pondering so much. I'm still wondering how I'd like to talk to you again. There are so many things I didn't get to see. I know how much you cared for me. And how much I cared for you too. <laughs> I changed diapers today, you know. I even talked Daniela and Destiny to bed. Since the shoes you left, they are so big. They are too big for me to feel. It. How do I do this? How do I do this? It's gonna be tough, Lily. We are the closest thing to a family these kids have. We have to be there for them. How do we I don't know, but I believe everything will fall into place. She's the new maid. A maid? Yes. What's your name? Ma, my name is Esther Ihoame. I have five kids, so, but I'm believing God for a husband, a handsome man. Yes, Ma, I love kids. I love taking care of kids. In fact, I'm already in love with your children. Yes! Esther, you want me? That's my name! Um, Esther. Sorry, sir. Esther, you want me? Sorry. Thank you, sir. Um, um, can you please go to the children's room? I showed you earlier and clean it up. Oh, right away, sir. Yes, sir. Ma. Esta, you know what I'm Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. I'm coming, ma. Brian, how can you get a maid without informing me? I did say I was going to do something about it when we spoke. This feels like the right thing to do, considering the fact that we are pretty busy. And remember, there's a baby involved. Uh, yeah, I also went to the kids' school to make arrangements so they can start using the school bus. So where did you get the meat from? There are agencies for that everywhere. Mm. Mm-hmm. Brian, I would really appreciate it if you inform me before taking any decision, especially one that applies to these kids. Yes, ma. Thank you. Now you two, listen to me. There will be no food for you this afternoon. That is after receiving strokes of K from me. Did you hear me? Stupid children. What did we do? Hmm? Hmm? What did we do? I will tell you. 
you insulted me that I gave you small portion of food. Do you know how to make food? Do you? Do you know the cost of food uh, uh, stuffs in the market? Do you? You don't know. The only thing you know how to do is to stay in a big house. Stay in a big car. Go to a big school. That is the only thing you know how to do. Eh? You insulted me. A homie. Now listen. If you tell your auntie or your uncle anything, you are finished. I will kill you. I will kill you. Do you understand? Did I do something? My hands are clean, oh. My hands are clean. Do you understand? Good. Keep me in down. Good to go. My employer. So you are not the one to tell me when to carry your brother or not. Pippi! See you! Pippi! Pippi! What? <sighs> Thank goodness you walked in on that girl. I mean, this is the reason my sister never liked the idea of getting mates. So this is how I would have lost my jewelry and that of my sisters. And who knows what this girl has been doing all this time we've been away. I got to find out from the kids that she's been physically abusing them. Oh no. You should, we should get that girl arrested. I already did. So now, what are we going to do? What are we, I mean, what are we going to do with the kids, especially Dave? Well, I guess we'll have to go with your earlier suggestion and do it ourselves. If our siblings could do it without any help, then I guess we can. <sighs> um, I have to look for a good daycare for Dave. And then we'll work out a schedule to do the rest in turns.
Okay. Sorry, what do you want? I oh, yeah, take, 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 take this, take, take, yeah, take. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, you want, you want to know? Ah, Where's the face? Sorry, 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 sis, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's so, your turn. About that, eh? can you help me do that? I have a meeting later in the No, you can't. No, you can't do that. You can't. It's your turn. What do you mean? The Please. Boss, at least I have I a said meeting. No way. No to... way. You have to find a way. Please, just clear that. Clear what? Come on. We didn't talk about this one. I have let's work. Go, let's go. And I have work too. Bye. Finally, some peace and quietness. God, what have they done? Oh goodness, these are my documents! I don't know why you hate peace and quietness. Of all things to play with is my document. Give it! No! You give it! Hey! <laughs> uh, hey, 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 hey! You think this is funny, right? You think it's funny? Oh yeah, come and kneel down, both of you. Kneel down, yes, with your hands up. Is that how to kneel down? Yeah, this is how you two will be anytime you misbehave. Next time when you see my stuff, you won't touch it. I've never seen or heard that you tore your mom's books. So why would you do that to my documents? Huh? What have I done wrong? My teacher said that we should make paper mache for our assignment. Okay. I want to submit it tomorrow. Exactly. And you decided to do that with my office documents, right? Why didn't you ask your uncle to give you papers? I did, but he ignored me. Fine. That's the same way I'm going to ignore you both for 30 minutes. You're going to be here. Don't give me that look, okay? Don't give me that look. Please stand up. If you touch anything that belongs to me, Huh? You'll be sorry. Thank you. Too. Don't thank me, I don't want it. Like, I, I wonder what goes in, like, what happens in your head. You brought a bowl, you put the document inside. Ah. Yes. <laughs> 
Uncle, sorry. Sorry what? Sorry? Where is it? Get it now, fast! Down there, I want you to get new down! What's this? Where is you guys from God's sake? You guys are going to mama. You're going to the village to steal mama because I don't understand the need of this problem. Raise your hands! Where is it? What? Oh my god, my walk! So what did you do this time? Nothing. Nothing, of course. You can't ever do anything, can you? Huh? You can't. So it's a beautiful position, so just continue. Exactly. Yeah, raise your hand. Good, good. Okay. <sighs> Destiny and Daniela, what is this? Answer me, what is this? It was Destiny. It's a lie. It wasn't me, it was you. It's a lie. Just shut up. Now both of you are going to serve some punishment so you don't do this ever again. First of all, no, come here, come here. Now listen and listen good. You never play in this living room again. Am I understood? Just give me a minute. Nonsense. to the market so I can get some things for the house. 
Okay, how long will you be gone? Long enough to get the things we need. Dave is still asleep and I hope he doesn't wake up till I return. Okay, money? Yeah. I'm good. Okay. Now you too. Remember I said you're not allowed to play in this living room, right? Good. So this is how you guys are going to sit till it's time to eat and then sleep. Is that understood? Because failure to do so. <laughs> I'm not just going to ship you off to the village, but I'll ship you to different grandmas. Yeah, imagine that. You, Destiny, I'll ship you to my mom. And you, Daniela, I'll ship you to Auntie Lily's mom. You know how she is. Do you understand? Good. I'm coming back. Peter! Yes, sir. What are you doing there? Hey, madam just went out, so I'm closing the gates. Okay. Um, please go get my clothes from the dry cleaner. Okay, let me. No, come. I mean now. I need it now. Now? Yes, just go now. Okay? okay? All right, thank you. Hurry! <laughs> Let's go outside and play. So you say we cannot play here. But what about uncle? I don't want to be shipped to the village. Different grandmas. Ooh. Don't worry. Let's go and see if it's okay. Some people are learning really fast. Alright. That's good. Daniela! Hey. Destiny, hi. You're back. Yes. Okay. Is Dave still asleep? Who? The baby. Uh, oh yeah, it is. Please, where are they? Who? The kids. Maybe they're no, they're not there. I, I just came down from there. I told them to sit here. How do you mean they're not in their room? Because I just checked. Uh, Daniela! Destiny! Wow, this is serious. Destiny! Destiny! 
Destiny. Are they here? They are not here. God, where could they be? Are now? you asking me? You were supposed to look after them. Please. Destiny! Destiny! Oh, Brian, how can you do something like this? I have more. I have to continue. You have more, but you were supposed to look after them. Please, let's just concentrate on finding them first. Ah, Peter! Come, let's go check them outside. Peter! Peter! Where are you just coming from? I want to get the cloth from the dry cleaner. Clothes? Yes. Now! Since I sent it! What's wrong with you? And you left the gate open so since! Where are the kids? Where are the kids? Kids? Where is Daniela and Destiny? This. This guy, we're Peter, wasting our time with this guy. How do you leave this gate open? Let's go! Huh? Oh, Jesus! Don't you dare leave this place open again! Where exactly are we going to go looking for them? I don't them know, now. let's just check everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, please. I'm looking for two two little girls between the ages of um, four and seven. I don't know if you saw them anywhere around the estate. Two little girls. Yes. Oh, um, that's gay. One do like tall, the other is short. Yes, yes. One is tall and the other is short. I saw them. For where? The other estate. The other estate. Yes. Please, where, where, where in the estate? Where in the other estate? I think that's somewhere. She mean two boys. Okay, I said two girls, not boys. Okay, two girls. Like I never see that one for my life. <sighs> yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, right, thank you. Excuse me, fine boy. You enter my eye, you. Fine boy. I'm sorry, little things. Uh uh. Shoe? Ah, oh, God. This is so frustrating. Who knows where these children will be? Ah. How could they? Please let's just let's just let's keep, we have to keep working and we need to find them. <laughs> you can't be tired because you were the one that were with them in the house. You were supposed to look after them. How would I have known that they would walk out? That's why you're supposed to keep an eye on them. Please just walk fast. Destiny, can we do this every day? Mm, sure, why not? Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I miss mommy and daddy. They don't want to call me a real life princess. Mm -hmm. I miss them too. But you are a real life princess. Now, let's get back home before me and auntie and me and uncle send us to the village. Okay. Let's go quick. I don't want to go to the sea. Come back. I think we are going to the village. Where did you guys go to? You said we can't play inside the living room. So we went to the estate park park to play. And our dad used to take us there once in a while. Destiny, you had us worried. Please don't do this again, okay? 
Listen, kids. You should never do this to us again. We will take you to the park every weekend. We can even do better. We'll take you to the zoo um, for the movies. All right? You promise? Yes. But then you, can, you should never do this again. There are dangerous people out there that can hurt you. They can kidnap you and maltreat you. All right? Please. Okay, let's go up so you can shower and eat. Let's go. Brian, I still have goosebumps. What could we have done if we lost these kids? I wouldn't have been able to forgive myself. They are being rebellious against us. That's exactly what these kids are doing. Now the question is, what did their parents do right that were doing wrong? That's exactly what I was thinking of on our way back. These are kids, for God's sake. They need to play. Explore, ask questions and get answers to them. But unfortunately, we are both not in the right frame of mind to give them that. It doesn't stop them from wanting it. I know this is new to us. And we're finding it hard to cope. But I think we should put aside whatever it is we have against kids and create time for them so we don't lose them. We've been selfish. Very. These children need us. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. huh? Oh. So kids, here we are. <laughs> Don't stay far. Okay. Hey. There's so many activities to do. I know, like jumping on a bouncy castle, looking at... I want at... bouncy castle. I Me, mean, I want popcorn. them too okay look we might not be able to replace them but i promise we are going to love you guys equally okay <laughs> oh, boy, what is this? yes i promise what's that what there shall the phone continue oh yes of course let's continue <laughs>
Wow. <laughs> I can't believe she just slept off like that. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> wow. We are one big family with a great big hug. Kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? I love you. You love me. We are one big family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? <laughs> okay, so I never knew you had different sides to you. Huh. Says someone who was cocky all along. Oh, yes. Um, Brian, please, you can't go to work now. Not when we have joint custody of the children. Brian, I need your 50% contribution here. No, no, no. I don't talk like that. Oh. And I wasn't cocky. I just <laughs> needed to set you straight that I have a job to. Oh, yes, we all knew. But I mean, you never joked with it. And I liked that about you. A hardworking and a strict lady. I really admire you. Okay. So, uh, should I take that to be a compliment? No, it's the truth. You know, you should be a mentor to this um, new generation young ladies. Career-wise. Yeah. I think you'll be good at it. You had to say career wise because you think I'm not domestic, yeah? I saw what you did there. Ah, uh, okay, look, if it helps, we are both not domestic. I'm not either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we're both clumsy with this um, childcare ish. And it's fine, we can laugh over it now. Yeah, me too. Look, it felt as if you just was transferring all the aggressions of these children and their misdeeds to me. Brian, yeah? you were freaking annoying. I felt I was going to run mad. There was no way in this world I was going to make you run mad. Huh? And if it helps you, we are, are becoming good parents now. So, are you thinking of getting married anytime soon? I just left the relationship of two years. We broke up last year. Why? Irreconcilable differences. That sounds like divorce. A heartbreak after two years of relationship felt like it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had this sense of humor. It wasn't funny. But I'm glad I can actually laugh about it now. You're really a beautiful and a nice lady. With a good head on your shoulder. A very good one. I see no reason why a guy would want to break your heart. Well, it happened. So, how about you? Are you not settling down soon? I mean, you have everything going for you already. Well, in my case, I guess I've not just met the right woman yet. Yes, um, I've never been in a real relationship. For real? Yeah. Why? It just never happened. That means you're a player. Oh, come on. If I was, don't you think you would have noticed by now? Uh, that's true. I've never seen you with a lady here. But how can you say you've never been in love? I mean, you're dangerously handsome. I 
I've always been a hard worker, right? Ever since I was in school, it was all about my studies. Then when I started working, it was all about my work and research. So it always affected my affairs. Ladies will always break up with me just for no damn reason. They never got to understand me. Or they never had the patience to see the side of you the kids have made you show. They've made us. And I'm loving it. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> No, I should go get no you, I will go. It's my turn, remember? I'll go. Me too. How did you cope with the kids alone? Yeah, good. Oh. Okay, so I had to just go and... Look, what you do with your spare time is none of my business. I made pasta just in case you want to have dinner. Even if I doubt you would. Excuse me. Thank you so much for today. You're welcome. It was nice having you. Same here. It's nice seeing you too. Yeah, so I uh, will see you some other time, huh? Okay. All right. So. So I don't feel like letting you go already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Um, so, you're back. Okay, so this is Lily, my sister-in-law. Hi, Lily. Good evening. How's it day? Is she okay? Don't worry, she'll be fine. Okay. All right. See bye. you tomorrow. Yes, bye. bye. Me what? Don't you think you should keep your relationship away from here because of these kids? Say someone who went to see her ex the other day. Well, I went to see him. I didn't bring him here. Well, it's better. It's better than running off to someone who clearly does not respect you the moment he as much as snapped his finger. That wasn't what happened, okay? Most of you don't even have the moral justification to judge anyone because you are the irresponsible one. Hey, Lily.
Haley, please, can we talk? Please, can we stop this cold war already? Please, I can't sleep. Look, I can't. I tried the whole of last night, but I couldn't. Please. In the midst of the situation we found ourselves, I fell for you. Yes. Lily, I'm helplessly in love with you. Deeply. I wasn't searching, I was just fine. I thought my life was perfect just the way it was. Till you came my way. I think I found something new mm. And I like the way it makes yeah, me yeah, feel yeah, yeah. Some things may happen And it's hard to tell why mm. You know that feeling questions right, right on my mind I think there's something that we can't understand so, When did you realize that you know me? Well, uh, I can't place my hands on a particular moment, but I always did feel something strong for you. And that's the reason why I agreed to share custody of the children with you. I wanted to be close to you. Are you sure it's love this time? I mean, you have never been in love. Yes, I am. In the same way, I'm sure that white is white and black is black. <laughs> um, yeah. I felt the same way too. Yeah. yeah. I always wanted you around me. It felt so natural. It's something I never felt with my ex. Ah, your ex. So glad it's an ex now. Confession. I almost had a heart attack when you guys were talking. No. There's no way I'm going back to him. Talking about me, how about you? What about me? Ah, the girl you met, my colleague. Eh? Well, she was just a colleague, and um, I actually tried to use her a little bit to get you jealous. Really? Yes, and I see you walk there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> yes. I wasn't right. searching. I was just fine. I thought my life was perfect just the way it was Till you came my way I think I found something new And I like the way it made me feel Some things may happen and it's hard to tell why mm -hmm. You know that feeling questions right on my mind I think yes, there's something that we can You're back. Yeah. Who did this? Huh? Come here. Lily, I can't imagine growing old with anyone else. Not that I want to. Fate has brought us together and given us three wonderful children. And I know my life will never be complete without you by my side. You make me feel brand new. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you, Destiny, Daniela and Dave. Cook for you, change diapers, plan my busy schedules with you. I just 
on all the craziness that comes with you. Please, Lily, will you be my wife? Yes. <laughs> oh, no, hold on, I need to take care of myself. Hey, Miss Judy, uh, is there anything you want me to cook for you? You know love is on free. 